Oh yeah, yeah, these are funny. I mean, not the death part, but like the dancing. Hey guys, it's Ryan. This is episode two of Exploring Death. And today's episode is about types of death. So here's this Wikipedia. It's called List of Unusual Deaths. I'm just gonna like go through them and then I'm gonna tier rank them on this tier list right here. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna tier rank them based on like, do I wanna go that way? So like S tier will be like, yeah, sure. I'll die like that, that's epic. It's cool, I don't know. F being like, that's a lame death. Like, no, thank you. Like it's like a deserved death. I don't know, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. So the first one we got is Charadas. He issued a law that anyone who brought a weapon into the assembly must be put to death. One day he arrived at the assembly seeking help to defend some barbarians in the countryside with a knife still attached to his belt. <laughs> in order to uphold his own law, he committed suicide. Oh my gosh. Did the barbarians get taken care of though? I'm gonna have to go B tier because like he did follow through on his own law. Sisamnus. They died. He accepted a bribe and delivered an unjust verdict. As a result, the king had him arrested and flayed. And his skin was then used to cover the seat in which his son would sit in judgment. Okay. I mean, they're using his body. I'm gonna have to go. I guess I'll have to go with B. At least his body's not going to waste. You know, he's not using his skin anymore. A Sitchilis. Um, He's the eldest of three great Athenian tragedies was killed by a tortoise dropped by an eagle that had mistaken his bald head for a rock and <laughs> shattering the shell of the rep- Wow. I think that's like a- that's a good way to go, you know? It's funny. A tier. Like, it's very Mario-esque. Empedocles of Akragas. He declared himself to be a divine being, no longer mortal, um, and he tried to prove that he was immortal by jumping into an active volcano. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's immortal. I'm gonna go S tier, because that's pretty epic. Alphericulus. He choked to death on an unripe grape. That's pretty lame. That's gonna have to be F tier. Dumb way to die for sure. Democritus of Ad Adbura. Look at him, he looks so happy. He died at the age of 109. Dang, dude, that's like, that's old for today, but like that's extra old for 370 BC. Hey, that's, that's crazy. Uh, I mean, uh, that's like to be S tier just because he lived so long in a time where people were not living that long. So yeah, good for him. Next is this guy. He died of laughter when he saw a donkey eating figs. El Nizer Avaran um, was the brother of Judas Malala. According to that thing, in battle, he thrust his spear into a belly of a king war elephant, which collapsed and fell on top of Elias, killing him instantly. It's like a mediocre way to die. I'll go D. Because like an elephant fell on you and that's pretty funny, but um, did he do it to himself? Now we're at the Middle Ages. This is Constance II. Uh, he's a Byzantine emperor. He was assassinated with a bucket. How? Like, was the bucket like just put over his head and like he suffocated? Or was he like beat with a bucket? Like, how, I, I need to know details about how did this bucket kill him? Let's see. Louis III of France. Uh, he died around the age of 18. Whilst mounting his horse to pursue a girl who was running to seek refuge in her father's house, he hit his head on the lintel of a low door and fell fracturing his skull okay, so which the the girl was running from him yeah that's 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 bad don't do that that's f tier they like he had that was he had it coming edmund ironside that's that's kind of an epic last name right there um he was allegedly stabbed whilst on a toilet by an assassin hiding underneath Wait, when, I, when i'm picturing i'm picturing the assassin like in the toilet and then just like stabs his butthole making him die if that's not what happened like that's not as funny but just because of my own picture in my head of what I have, that's A tier. Like, I don't really want to die that way, but that's funny. It's still funny. I mean, but like, that assassin, what a dedicated assassin, you know, hiding in the toilet. You really want an assassin that's dedicated to their craft. One that'll hide in the toilet just to get the job done. Edward II of England is rumored to have been murdered after being disposed and imprisoned by his wife and her lover by having a horn pushed into his anus through which a red hot iron was inserted burning out his internal organs without marking his body oh my gosh that's kind of funny i mean again not in a way i want to die but like pretty epic like that his wife did that with her lover that's <laughs> with up his butt oh my gosh that's that's crazy next we have martin of 
Aragon. Um, he died from a combination of indigestion and uncontrollable laughing. Okay, that's fun. On account of eating an entire goose with his favorite jester. That's funny. Okay, that's, that's B tier. Like, he had a good meal. Now we're in the Renaissance with George Plattagent. Duke of Clarence. Um, he's the first Duke of Clarence allegedly executed by drowning in a barrel of wine. Apparently his own choice once he accepted he was gonna be killed. I mean, if you're gonna be drowned, you gotta pick something that you'd enjoy being drowned in. That's gonna be B tier. No, C tier. Cause why would- no, it's B- it's B tier, it's B tier. Yeah, cause uh, he- he got like a little tasty- <laughs> that's the wrong gesture. <laughs> right before he died. So- uh, Good death? Good for him? Death? The victims of the 1518 dancing plague. Oh yeah, yeah, these are funny. I mean, not the death part, but like the dancing plague. So several people died at either heart attacks, strokes, or exhaustion during a dancing mania that occurred. I think that's a pretty good way to go. No dancing. So that's S tier. I'll, I'll die that way. That's, that's fine. Now we got Beardsy. Hans Steininger. Steininger. Hans Steininger the bog master died when he broke his neck by tripping over his own beard the beard was 4.5 feet long wow um that seems like his own fault maybe he should have like been more careful or maybe like watching where he's walking that's gonna be d tier easily preventable and okay, we're making another time jump to the early modern period with Safi of Persia, he died in 1642. he was the ruler of iran allegedly died due to alcohol intoxication in a drinking contest that's an okay way to go I, I mean it's kind of dumb so i'm gonna go c tier but like respect i guess did he win probably not because he died so he probably lost so yeah that actually makes it d tier he didn't even win the drinking contest so yeah. next we got this fancy pants guy named thomas iraq Gart, who's a Scottish aristocrat. He said to have died laughing upon hearing that Charles II had taken the throne. That's funny, um, but not really. So that's like C tier. What is with all these people that are dying of laughter? I don't get it. Like, how does that even happen? Because like they don't get enough air or something. Okay, now we're gonna make a huge time jump to the 19th century. John Cummings. Uh, he said after seeing or after seeing the circus knife swallower, Cummings began actually swallowing knives. On one occasion, he swallowed four knives and quickly passed three with no ill health. Passed them. Like he pooped them out. That seems bad. Plus, aren't these circus knife swallowers like they're using like fake knives or something is it common for circus people to poop out their knives once they swallow them he later swallowed 14 knives and after some days with abdominal pains he passed all of them after a few days he had only passed the case he died after the four years in pain on autopsy a knife blade and spring were found in his intestine that's kind of dumb way to die too uh, i'm gonna have to see here because i don't think the circus knife people do that I and mean, if they do i mean I don't, I don't know, it's like magic. We got William Snyder. He was 13. That's not a 13 year old's name, William Snyder. No, 13 year olds cannot be named that. That's like a 30 year old man's name. Died after a circus clown swung him around by his heels. What kind of circus are these people going to? That's E, that's stupid. That's a really dumb way to die. Next we got Mothalida of Austria. Uh, she was the daughter of Archduke, that guy, set her dress on fire while trying to hide a cigarette from her father who had forbidden her to smoke. This girl is on fire. Okay, well she didn't do a great job of hiding that. I, I think he, he quickly found out what she was doing. How, why, why weren't they able to put out the fire? Was this, was the 1860s, was that when they wore those big old dumb dresses that you couldn't take off? So like those dresses were a fire hazard? <laughs> How many people died of like their dresses from this like time period catching on fire because they couldn't get out of them? Probably a lot. She didn't even get away with it. So I'm gonna have to go with, um, D because she was caught smoking and then she died and then her dad presumably knew that she was smoking. Yeah, that really bumped her down from where I would have, if like her dad didn't know. I don't know how he wouldn't know, but. Clement Valendikem. Um, he was a lawyer defending a man accused of murder, accidentally shot himself while demonstrating how the victim might have done so. And his client was acquitted. So I think that means he won the case. That gets him up a little higher. I also think it's kind of funny. So I'm gonna go B. Sir William Payne Galloway second baronet um a former british mp um died after sustaining 
severe injuries when he fell on a turnip while hunting. That's a really dumb way to die. That's gonna have to go into E because that's just like, what? How do you, what? trip on a turnip. Empress Elizabeth of Austria, um, an assassin stabbed Elizabeth with a thin file which pierced her pericardium um, and a lung. Because her extremely tight corset held the wound closed, she did not realize what had happened. Believing a passerby had struck her and walked on for some time before collapsing. Okay, I get it. I get how she wouldn't know. That's like, mm, that's C. Now we got the big old famous guy. Rasputin. He consumed tea, cakes, and wine, which had been laced with cyanide. It did not appear to affect him at all. He was then shot in the chest and believed to be dead, but after a while, he leapt up and attacked Yusupov, who freed himself and fled. Rasputin followed and made it to the courtyard before being shot again and collapsing in a snowbank. Yeah, that's S tier. He, like, you could not kill him. That's just, that's pretty epic. He's like what that volcano jumper like wanted. I bet if Rasputin jumped in a volcano, he would have been just like, oh, hey guys, just going for a swim in this near lava, magma, whatever. And then we got the victims of the great molasses flood, January of 1919. Um, 21 people were killed and 150 injured in the great molasses flood when a large tank of molasses burst in Boston North End. That's kind of funny. I mean, again, not the death part, but just that like molasses was all throughout the street. And then I'm sure like that stuff is like sticky. So like you're, you're trying to walk through it and then you're like oh i'll be there in a minute and those people probably died because like the the emergency responders were like so sticky and they couldn't get there fast enough like how long did it take to clean this place up there's probably like lots of ants i'm gonna have to go a tier on this one just because it's it's just kind of like a funny concept the last one bobby leach 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 I don't know. He's an American stunt performer, died after a botched amputation of an infected leg, which he broke after slipping on an orange peel. <laughs> the only thing that would make the, that whole sentence better is if it was a banana peel. He's also the guy who went over Niagara Falls in a barrel. That's just like really bad for his reputation there. Like he's like, yeah, I barreled off Niagara Falls and survived. Oh, how'd you die then? An, or an orange peel. I'm sorry, what? An, an orange peel. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that. An orange peel. <laughs> Yeah, so that is gonna have to be mm, E tier. Those are all my rankings. Yep. That's it for this video. Bye!